Yeah, go to Matthew 26. Read verse 1 and 2. Because the question is, did the Messiah, did he keep the Passover? And did he endorse the Passover? That's the question. So we get to Matthew 26. Read verse 1. You can get that, uh, you can get that, y'all. All right. Uh, Matthew 26. And as they were eating, Hamashiach took bread and blessed it and baked it. Yeah, Matthew 26. Matthew 26. Matthew 26. What verse? My bad. Verse 1. Verse one. Oh, okay, okay. And it came to pass. Matthew 26, verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass. When Hamashiach had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, verse 2. Verse 2, yep. Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Okay, he said, ye, ye know after two days is the Passover, and the Son of Man is to be crucified. Now, one, one more time. The Messiah entered into Jerusalem that Tuesday on the 10th. Okay, so he fulfilled the prophecy that Moses spoke about um, uh, examining your lamb on the 10th day. Okay, but he says, ye know after two days, the feast of the Passover, right? Now he's talking about the um, the um, the Jews' Passover. After two days is the feast of the Passover. Now he spoke he spoke to them that Wednesday, okay, and he was crucified the very next day, that Thursday. So he was saying after Thursday and Friday, the actual Passover, uh, which fell on that Saturday. So Christ was crucified the following day, early that Thursday, when he said after two days is the Passover. He was speaking of, of the Passover that was supposed to be kept according to the law of Moses. He wasn't talking about the Jews Passover that they changed up. They switched and kept on their Friday. He was speaking about the actual Passover. Right. So he said so it says um, which was that Saturday. It fell on that Saturday. Right. But we know that the, the, the Jews, what did they do, Kahar? They changed the what? They changed the ordinances. They changed the ordinances. They changed the Passover ordinance. That's what they did. Read verse 3 and 4. All right. <clears throat> then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas. Verse Caiaphas. 4. Mm -hmm. Caiaphas. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, and consulted th that they might take Yahweh by subtly and kill him. You see? So they plotted against the Messiah. The Pharisees and the Sanhedrin came together. Okay? And Caiaphas was the high priest at the time. In fact, I have his writings is going to back it up later on when Shawshank come back to show everybody that Christ did not keep the Passover. Right, he did not keep the Passover. He did not. He did not endorse the Passover. So, so they plotted to kill Christ before the Passover, which is more proof that he, meaning meaning the Messiah, did not keep it. And, and because in verse five it confirms this. Verse five says, "But they said not on feast day." They said we we want to take him out, meaning Christ, but not on feast day. What is feast day? The feast day was the Jews Passover in which they mm -hmm. kept that Friday, but they were supposed to keep it that Saturday. Again, because the Passover fell on that Saturday, that particular year, they decided to have the Passover that Friday. Now you understand. So it says, but they said not on feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. You see that? Mm -hmm. The Jews feast day is the Passover, which they kept that Friday, but they were supposed to keep it what? That Saturday. So now, now I should, I, we, we are going to deal with the Lord's Supper. Okay. Okay. Which is the Supper of Christ. Okay. The Lord's Supper. Okay. It, and the Passover, it is not the same thing. Let's go to Matthew 20. In fact, we, we're going to remain in Matthew 26. And let's read verse 17. Somebody read verse 17. Matthew 26, verse 17. <clears throat> now the first day of the feast was unleavened bread. The disciples came to Yahusha, saying unto him, 
Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? You see, when most people read this passage here, they automatically think that the Messiah uh, or the disciples are preparing for the, um, uh, or, or they automatically think that Christ kept the Passover. Okay, when they read this verse here, they always think that Christ kept the Passover simply because the disciples said, we with thou that we prepared for thee to eat the Passover. Okay, but the disciples understood that they was keeping the Passover that Friday. They understood this here, that Friday. Christ knew, knew they was keeping it that Friday too, but Christ also knew that they were supposed to keep it that Saturday. But they changed the ordinances that year. They changed it to that Friday. So when so the disciples assumed that he would eat the Passover, but Christ had another plan in mind, okay? He had a, another plan and soon revealed to his disciples the mystery of the Passover, that he would not eat it. Okay, his disciples, they were talking about the Jews Passover. Okay, they kept that Friday at the temple, by, uh, mind you, you can only keep the Passover at the temple. Okay, you could only keep the Passover at the temple. Now, we all know that Christ was perfect, right, in the law of Moses. He was the only one that was perfect in the law of Moses, right? That's how you know that he did not or that he did away with the Passover, which was part of the uh, part of the um, the law of Moses. Because if he kept the Passover according to the law of Moses, he would have had to go to the temple and have a Levite uh, uh, priest sacrifice for him. Right, right, right. Remember, Christ kept the law perfectly. He's the, he was the only one. But he had a plan in mind. He did not keep the Jews Passover. Okay, let's go to Luke 22, verse 7. Christ kept the law of Moses perfectly. He did away with the Passover because if he was to keep the law of Moses, he would have went to the temple and had a Levite priest sacrifice for him. Um, but he was a sacri sacrificial lamb. Exactly. But my, but my point is this here. He kept the law perfectly. This goes, this goes and proved that he did away with the law, many of the laws of Moses, including the ordinances, because the Jews trans they trespassed God's laws and they broke the everlasting covenant and they changed what uh what did what did they change? Um uh Kahan? They changed the ordinances, they changed, they changed the ordinances. the ordinances, and this year they changed it from that Saturday to that Friday. Friday. So now uh uh um this is the book of Luke, chapter 22. Yeah, let me let me get that real fast. Luke twenty two, right? And you go, you are going to read verse seven. Come, go ahead. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. Okay, it says came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. Right. Right. Okay, but according to the law of Moses, the unblemished lamb is kept up until the 14th day. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is to all the brothers on the panel. Christ entered into Jerusalem on what day? That Tuesday. That Tuesday, the 10th. The 10th. The people did what? They examined him as, as, as their, uh, their unblemished lamb. Did the people keep Christ for four more days until the 14th day? Nope. No, they did not. Nope, because that that'll be Tuesday. If I'm not, they did not keep Christ up, up until the 14th day. The 14th day, according to the law of Moses, was that Saturday. But again, because it fell on that Saturday, the the Jewish authorities they decided to host the Passover that Friday. Okay, so so again according to according to the law of Moses the unblemished lamb is kept up until the 14th day and then killed and eaten by the congregation now that year of the crucifixion the 14th day again i hate to keep repeating myself was on the sabbath so the jewish authorities hosted the passover that friday 
which was the 13th, as the prophet Isaiah quoted in Isaiah 24 and 5. You, you folks can write that down. Isaiah, I, excuse me, Isaiah 24 and 5. They, trans, they transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances. They broke in the everlasting covenant. The Passover is one of God's, God's ordinances, right? Now, my brother, read verse 8. Luke 22, read verse 8. I got it. Luke 22, verse 8. Uh -huh. And he sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare us to Passover that we may eat. You see that? So he sent Peter and John and said, go and what? Prepare the Passover that we may eat. So Christ ate his, ate his supper with the disciples before the Passover. The book of John is clear about this here. When he says, go and prepare the Passover that we may eat, right? He has something else in mind. He did not eat the Passover. I'm going to show you. Let's go to John 13 and 1. Yeah, the book of John. Let me get there myself. The book of John 13, verse 1. I have a question, too, for anybody who's listening, right? Why would Christ keep the Jews' Passover, those wicked-ass Jews, Passover, right? And why would the Messiah and his father in heaven, why would they destroy the temple in 70 AD? Not only did they destroy the temple in 70 AD, while the Romans was destroying the temple, guess what the Jews was doing? Somebody take a guess. What, what were the Jews doing, do, doing, doing while the Romans were destroying the temple? Trying to keep Passover. They was keeping Passover. Mm -hmm. Go read Josephus. They was keeping Passover. The Romans surrounded Jerusalem, the temple. All those people got trapped. And guess what? God used those Romans and he slaughtered all those people that was keeping Passover. Mm -hmm. Let's go to John 13, read verse 1. John chapter 13, verse 1. Now, before the feast of Passover. Stop, stop. Before the read it kind of slow. One more time. John chapter 13, verse 1. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Christ knew that his hour was come uh -huh. to depart out of the world unto the Father mm -hmm. of his own which were in the world. Mm -hmm. He loved them unto the end. Stop right there. It says, before the feast of the Passover. Notice, it says, before the, the Passover is when Christ ate his supper with his disciples. Do you folks catch that? Before mm -hmm. the Jews' Passover, he ate his, his supper with his disciple. This also show you that he did, he did not eat the Jews Passover. Okay, it said before the Passover, when Christ ate his supper with his, his 12 disciples, he sat down with them that Wednesday evening. Late that Wednesday night, he sat down with his disciples. Read that one more time. Uh, 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 um. Kahana or whoever want to read it one more time. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Christ knew that his hour was come. That's good. That's good right there. Before the feast of the Passover, when Christ knew that his hour was come. So how did he eat the Passover if it says before the feast of the Passover? He was eating his supper with his disciples. Right. Not the Passover. That's why it says, blessed is those who do what? Read. Let's go to Matthew 26. Matthew 26. When we get to Matthew 26, you're going to read, read verse 20. Get the Matthew 26, verse 20. Okay. Matthew 26, verse 20. Now, when the even has come, he sat down with the twelve. He sat down with the twelve. Okay, 
the evening has come and he sat down with the 12. In fact, read verse, somebody read verse 17 through 19. You got that, you right. 17 through 19. <clears throat> now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Yahusha, mm -hmm. saying unto him, where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? See, his disciples, they thinking that they're going to eat the Passover. But Christ had another, another, thing, another plan. But I just showed you in the book of John, it says now, now before the feast of the Passover, he sat down with his disciples. Go ahead and read verse 18. And he said, go into the city to such a man and say unto him, the master said, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 19. And the disciples did as Yahusha had appointed them, and mm -hmm. they made ready the Passover. Read verse 20. Now when the, now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. Mm -hmm. So when you see the word Passover, keep seeing the word where they made ready Passover, etc. Yes, they was making ready the Passover. But Christ had something else in mind, and you will soon see. Okay. And then he revealed to them that he would not eat. He revealed to them that he would not eat the Passover. Okay. Which was three days after. Okay. Three days after, or, or on the 14th, according to the law of Moses, he revealed to them that he would not eat it. Now, how could my question is, is this here? How could Christ observe the Passover? On the 14th, when he sat down with his 12 disciples that Wednesday, the 11th, the Jews' Passover was the 13th. The actual Passover in which they should kept was the 14th. The Messiah was crucified on the 12th, that Thursday morning. So how in the hell could he have eaten the Passover? Mm -hmm. Right? Let me show you something else, though. Let's go... Um, Let's go back to Luke 22. Luke 22. Let's go back. Luke 22. In Luke 22, look what he revealed to his disciples. In the book of Luke chapter 15, uh, 22, you're going to read. Um, matter of fact, let me get there real quick. I, I skipped it by mistake here. When you get to Luke 22, you are going to read verses 15 and 16. And when you get there, you can go ahead and read. Start. Luke chapter 22 and verse 15 and 16. And he say unto them, With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Stop right there. He said, with desire. He said, I have desired to eat it. Yes, I have desired to eat this Passover with you. Read verse 16. For I say unto you, I would not eat more. Eat, I would not any more thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. He said, I would not eat it now. He said, yes, I have desire to eat it. But how could he eat it if the Jews was keeping it on the wrong day? Mm. Re remember, they changed the ordinances, the ordinances that year. They kept it at Friday. It was supposed to be kept at Saturday. So you think Christ was going to break the law? The Mosaic law that he kept perfectly and eat the Jews' Passover on that Friday. All right. Read that one more time. Come on. This is a dagger right here. Verse 15, 16, one more time. What did Christ tell his disciples? Say unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. They got many scriptures that back that up, like in the book of Revelation. It talks about the supper, the supper of who? The supper of Christ in heaven. It talks about it. All through scripture in the new covenant. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's go to Matthew 26. So that, that's the end of the conversation, but we, we're going to keep it going. <laughs> we're going to keep it going. He said, yes, I have desire to eat it. Yes, I have desire to do it. Hold on, I'm back. Just give me a minute so I can um, get this. Okay, thing. take your time. He said, I have desire to do it, to eat it. Yes, I have, but I will no longer eat the Passover until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. 
So all of you out there talking about Christ ate the Passover and kept the Passover, you some satanic, Khazar, children, lying ass, black <laughs> devils. <laughs> because he did not keep the Passover. But the Jews kept the Passover, and guess what? After he was crucified, they kept on keeping the Passover every year until God had uh, the temple destroyed in 70 AD. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Matthew 26. And when you get to Matthew 26, read verses 20. We're going to read verses 26 through 28. Matthew 26, verses 26 through 28. All right. Matthew 26, verse 26. And as they were eating, Mashiach took bread and blessed it and baked it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is to shed for many for the remission of sins. Read verse 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine uh -oh. until, that, until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Uh-oh. Just backing it up. He said, I will not, I will not eat it nor drink it. So how did how in the hell did Christ keep the Passover? Uh Kohan. Mm. So the disciples they ate and drank Christ's body and blood but he did not eat nor drink being he was the meal he was the meal offered to the 12 disciples if he was the mm -hmm. meal being offered to the 12 disciples how could he eat himself oh, God. right right that makes sense he became the new passover that night and eaten that night by the 12 according to the laws of moses in the, book, in the book of exodus because what it says when you kill your Passover on the uh, uh, the 14th, you're supposed to eat it that night. Yep, with haste. With haste. And when you go read the book of Josephus, it talks about them doing that, yes. But they had like 12 people per Levite priest. You think Christ was going to go to the, go to the temple and have a Levite priest sacrifice for him? Well, he That's Let's and, go to go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. And he was the last priest. Thank you. Anybody want anybody else want to say something? No, it all makes sense. As you're bringing it up. Let's go, let's go to Exodus. Let's go to Exodus 12. Yeah, Exodus 12. Right, real fast here. No, folks, the Messiah did not keep the Passover, nor did he endorse the Passover. He did not endorse it. He was a, he was against the Passover. I'm going to show you through the real real writings of Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year. Let's go to Exodus 12. Let's read verse um, six through eight. Exodus 12, verse six through eight, and he shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, mm -hmm. and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses, wherein mm -hmm. they shall eat it. Verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. They shall eat the flesh in that night. That night. When, Sounds like the coming of Mashiach to me. Right. When the disciples got together and had his supper, did they eat it in the day or night? They, ate the, they ate the Lord's Supper, Christ's Supper at night. Mm -hmm. late, they ate it late that Wednesday night. Christ was arrested, arrested early that Thursday morning while it was still mm -hmm. dark outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Christ's flesh was eaten, eaten that Wednesday night by the 12. Mm -hmm. Now I will, I, I'm going to elaborate more on, on why Christ did not eat the Passover of the Jews, right? Now, many people overlook the book of John, the 13th chapter. Mm 
they they overlooked this um this chapter, right? Concerning the the uh, betrayal of uh, Judas Iscariot, what did the other disciples thought Judas was going to do with the bag of money? Do anybody know? What did the disciples thought Judas was going to do with the bag of money? Do anybody anybody know in this panel? I don't know. Let's yeah, go. To, let's go to the book of John. John thirteen. Yeah. The question is now to uh, those who are listening. What did the disciples thought Judas was going to do with the money, the bag of money? John chapter 13 and verse 2. In fact, let me get it real fast. John chapter 13, verse 1, 1 and 2 reveals what the disciples thought he was going to do. This also proves the case that Christ did not keep the Passover. Okay, so when you get to uh, John 13, somebody read verses 1 through 2. John chapter 13 and verse 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Christ knew that his hour was to come, uh -huh. part out of this world to the Father, uh -huh. having his own, which were in this world, in the uh -huh. world, he loved them unto the end. Stop right there. So one more time, it says, before the feast of the Passover, Showing you he did not keep the Passover. Read verse 2. And supper being ended. Supper ended. They finished eating. They not eat. They, they finished eating Christ's supper. Go ahead. The devil have now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot. Mm -hmm. I'm a son to betray him. To betray him. Now, let's skip a few verses and go to verse 29. When you get there, read verse 29. So right. now they, 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 they ended the supper, etc. Now let's see what happens with the bag of money. Or what, what the disciples thought he was going to do. Go ahead. Verse 29. For some of them, th them thought, because Judas had the bag, that Yahweh had said unto him, buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. Read it one more time. Read it kind of slow. I don't think people caught this here. Read it one more time. Or some of the let's see let, let's see what the what the disciples thought he was going to do. One more time. Or some of them thought because Judas had the bag that Christ had said unto him, buy those things that we have need of. Buy those things they thought. The disciples thought that Judas was going to buy things for the Passover. You see that? I read it one more mm -hmm. time. For some of them, meaning the disciples, they thought because Judas had a bag that Jesus had said unto him, buy those things that we have need against the, against the feast, meaning the Passover feast, or that he should give something to the poor. This is what they thought he was going to do. They thought he was going to buy things to prepare for the Passover. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 30. And he then having received the sop of soap went immediately out and it was night. You see that? So the disciples thought Judas was going to buy things needed for the Passover feast. When we jump back up and read verse 1, it confirms this. Right? Go, back to, go back and read verse 1. John 13, verse 1. It confirms this right here. Now before the feast of the Passover. Before the feast of the Passover. When Christ knew that his hour was to come. When Christ knew that his hour was come. He sat down to eat his Lord's Supper. That he should depart from this world unto the Father. Having loved his which were in the world. He loved them to the end. He loved them to the end, but it says before the feast of the Passover, Christ instituted his supper with the 12 disciples. 